Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show how to parse complex JSON into dot model classes easily without using any kind of generator libraries. So that means there is absolutely no skill needed here to generate dot model classes using this method. So let me show how to do that. Here we will be parsing a JSON, generate dot JSON models, and then show the data in a list view. Okay, so let's start. So this is my main door dot file where you can see I have set an empty container with white background as the home of the material lab. Okay, so let me create a folder. I'm going to name it easy json parse and a file this in parse demo dot dot import the material package and create the class which extends stateful widget and a constructor since it is a stateful widget, we need a state. So class JSON parse demo state extends state JSON parse demo. Override the build method. So let's return a scaffold with an abba. Let's set the title as JSON parse demo. Okay and return the state. Now let's go back to the main dot file and replace the home with the class JSON parse demo. So let me import that. So set it as home. Okay, so there is a screen. All right. Now let's go to the internet and grab some free service. So if you go to json placeholder.typeout.com let's wait for it to load so if you scroll down you can see some of the sample services so i'm gonna use this one here you will get 10 user records okay next i'm gonna open another website called app dot kubetype.io so what this website does is it can generate json model classes uh, from the json string you provide okay so make sure you have selected json and your language so here we will need the dot and json okay let me paste the json string now you have to give the main class name so i'm giving it as users so you can see the model classes has been generated so let's copy that and go to our editor create a new file i'm gonna name it users dot dot and paste it there okay so that's a model class for our entire json okay so that's how you can use it so okay so you can see all classes has been generated right you have address so address is passed as parameter for the constructor for each user so you can see address is in a json inside a user record right so let me change that to user since it is each user record right okay so that makes sense now let's see the other parameters so first one you can see id name username email address you can see address has a separate class and if you go inside address you can see the geo so that is another class okay so geo doesn't have any nested class now you can see the company nested json okay let's see where it is being used so it should go inside each user so you can see that's a member variable okay so everything is properly parsed right now so our main part is done now let's create a new service 
call that uh, URL, get the data and parse it using these classes and show it in a list view. Okay. So let's write a service class. So I'm importing the HTTP package. So make sure you add it in the pubspec.yaml file. Okay. So get the latest and add it. And sorry, I forgot one thing. So once you add it, you should call the Flutter packages get. Okay. So that will download the package and add it to your project. Right. Okay. Let's create the class services and static constant string URL. So let me grab the URL. Okay. Now let's write a method to get the data. I'm going to call it get users. So that's going to return a list of users. And this is going to be an asynchronous method. And we need a try catch here. So if there is some exception, I'm going to return an empty list of users. But in real case, you need to catch the errors and return the appropriate error. Okay. So I have made a video on how to properly catch errors in Flutter. I'll be providing the link to that video in the description or you can just click the i button on the top right of this video to watch that. Okay, so let's get the data from the URL. But you can see that there is some error, right? That's because it's an asynchronous method and we need to return a future. So future list of users. All right, now the error is gone. Now let's get the data. So final response is equal to await http dot get and the url okay now we have the response and we are going to check if the status code is 200 then we are going to parse the data right so for parsing the data you know that so that's a method we need to use right so call that method with the json string so that will be response.body and return the list of users. Otherwise, we'll just return an empty list of users. Okay. Now let's implement this method. So let's go back to the JSON parse demo and import the services. And we are going to need the users as well. And let's create a variable list of users and override the init state. Okay. So we need one more variable loading to indicate the loading. So I'm setting it to true and call the services.getUsers. So that's going to return the list of users, right? So the value will be users, a list of users. I'm assigning it to the local variable and setting the loading to false. So if it is loading, I'm going to say loading. Otherwise, we'll just say users okay we start the app okay now it's showing loading all right now let's create the body which is a container with background color white and a child which is a list view a list view dot builder with a context and an index for the item builder and we need to return the row from here the list view row Okay, so let's get the user and return a list style. This style will have a title. So title, let's set it to user.name. So you can see that each user has a name, email, right? So subtitle will be user.email. Okay, I forgot to set the item count. So item count will be, so if the users are null, it is set to zero. Otherwise, it's users.length, okay? All right, so we have properly parsed the JSON and set it to the list view. And we forgot to call the set state here. So let's put it inside the set state. Okay, now it's loading properly. Cool, so if you go to internet and uh, search for JSON to Dart, you will get so many links that are providing this service from converting JSON string to Dart classes. So you can use any of those, whichever you find comfortable with. Okay. These kind of services makes our life much easier, right? So make sure to use those. 
That's all in this video. Please give a like if you find this video useful. One like and share is a big support for me to grow this channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Until then, bye.